Hey there, breather day. <sighs> and I am actually breathing a sigh of relief. Day 12 of the One Funnel Away Challenge. And yesterday I had a catch up day on things. I scheduled a day where I could catch up on things since I'd been out of town over the weekend. I made sure I didn't have any interviews. I only had a couple coaching calls so that I had the vast majority of the day to catch up on my own personal projects. I'm doing this Women's Summit and I'm not caught up on that by any way, shape or form. And to catch up on some of the assignments. And I've done the assignments for the One Funnel Away Challenge as we've gone along. But some of the things I've just done like a framework and a sketch for. So I've wanted to go back and start filling in the pieces. So yesterday, I you know, I've been doing a podcast for a while. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to follow the, the challenge exactly. So I went and I started a new podcast on Anchor for Supersize Your Business for Female Entrepreneurs. Because my project for this particular challenge is the women's summit so as i'm building the marketing pieces for the women's summit i wanted to create a separate podcast just for that so i did my intro i actually created an intro for the podcast never done that before my other segments on my pajama grandma podcast still since i started that in february in one day since then i still haven't added an intro or an outro or music and i almost never like almost never have any call to action, which I know is a huge outage for me, and that will be improving in the near future, but I, I just haven't gotten around to it. I haven't gotten around to it. So today, as I looked at the lesson, and it's a breather day and a catch-up day, I was super excited because I don't know about you and if you're doing the challenge along with me, but this challenge is one of those challenges that is filled with so much that it's almost impossible to get everything done on each of the days. Now, you can get the framework done for it, and I've done that, but as far as getting all the real meat and potatoes done, if you haven't done any thinking or any thought about what your product or service is, what your industry is, and your offer and who you want to serve, this challenge, I would think, would be a really hard challenge for people. Now, I've spent a lot of time thinking about those things, who I want to serve, what my skills are, what I can provide for people. So the offer part, I had already done a lot of homework on that because I, I decided about a week ago, a week before the challenge started, that I was going to use this challenge to create the marketing and sales structure for the Women's Summit that I'm hosting. And so that's what I've been doing. I've done the whole project and the whole um, challenge all 10 days, 11 days, up to today, day 12, with that project and that process in mind. So I created my offer structure for that. Now I want to go back now that we've got a breather day and fill in some pieces on that offer and do some more creatives with that and make sure that I've got what I'm thinking is what people really want for the summit because I've continued to do research of my audience and my ideal audience for that to find out and tweak and hone in on what is it that they really want and really need. Not what I think they want and need because I did a survey the first couple of days when I was creating my offer and found out that the, the three big challenges, the three big stressors, the three big things that they want to know and they want to fix to grow and supersize their business are different than the things that I would have guessed and anticipated. For me, it was all about working in your you know, on your business instead of in your business because that was my personal biggest challenge growing my business. But that didn't even come up in the top three. So, lesson learned, don't assume you know what your ideal customer needs and wants based solely on your experience. We can do that, but it'll make our learning curve longer because we're just guessing instead of asking. And also remember that when we ask, we're presupposing some things. So even when we ask, we're still going to have to tweak and change and fix things. So today is all about tweaking and improving and fixing things. I'll add another, um, I'll do another podcast episode on Anchor. Um, I think that the way I do my podcast now is significantly better than Anchor, but if you're just getting started, it would be a good free way to get started. And so I'm doing that as part of the experience of the challenge to see what it feels like to, to do the challenge from a participant's perspective versus somebody creating the challenge. And that meant I'm going to start an, an Anchor campaign. Now, I do have a blog. I pulled up my old blog and I dusted it off a little, but I'm going to today now, since we've got a catch-up day, I'm going to start another blog on Medium because I signed up for Medium, but I 
they haven't figured out how to add posts to it and blog on it yet. But I want to go ahead and start writing for Medium. And that will be my um, daily written way of sharing my message specifically for women business owners, female entrepreneurs, targeting them as part of this challenge. So what do you need to do today to catch up? to grow and supersize your business or to just do a challenge or to do the next thing for your business to move you toward what it is that you want to do and what you want to be. For me, it's this project and I know I have a couple little pieces I want to tweak and fix and get some, some better graphics going for it and I still need to invite people to participate in the summit. I, I keep putting that off. I know over the weekend for sure I'll get that done because I want to start interviewing people probably as soon as next week for the summit so I can start putting all the components and pieces together for it. That's it. Go out, make it a fantastic catch-up day. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow for day 13 of the One Funnel Away Challenge. Bye.